Hi there, it's Mr. Clark. Welcome to Lesson 11.5.4 on 32-bar form. Uh, this is also known as American Popular Song Form or Ballad Form, and at its most basic level, it's A-A-B-A. -A. So if it's 32 bars and there are four different sections, each of them is going to be eight bars long. That's most common. It can be, you know, you could cut it in half, then it would be like 16 bars. You could double it, then it would be 64. Uh, but they're all the same length, and there are four of them. The A sections might vary slightly musically, and almost certainly would have different text, but they're similar enough that we would usually just say A, A, B, A. Um, the A section also typically contains the title of the tune. Uh, the B section is known as the bridge. B for bridge, that's easy to remember. If you know what a bridge is in more modern popular music, that's something that's different. We'll talk about that in the next lesson, uh, but it has it had a different meaning at this point in time, which would be the earlier part of the 1900s. Uh, the B section also generally contrasts both melodically and harmonically. So, like I was saying, historically, we're looking at the first half of the 20th century in the U.S. is where this form was most common. It was particularly popular in songs coming from Tin Pan Alley, an area in Manhattan that was dense with music publishing houses. Um, some of the benefits of this form were that well, one, there's a lot of repetition in the form. Um, well, that's not a benefit. That's an aspect of the form that has several benefits. So because there's so much repetition, songs can be quickly composed. If you write the first eight bars, well, you've got three quarters of your tune. Awesome. Um, it's easy for people to understand them quickly, and it was easier for them to become popular. So you could get sales from live performances, from selling sheet music, and also from the radio. So if you're listening to the radio and you hear a song once, well, you're going to probably remember it better because you hear that section three different times. Um, so songs would often pair an introductory opening section with the 32-bar form, and this opening section, so you'd have something over here, some sort of intro, would be called the verse, and then this 32 bar form part would be known as the refrain. Again, verse and refrain have different meanings in modern popular music, but this is what the terms meant at the time. So go ahead, check out some of these tunes, and I'll see you next time.